What's up guys, Technology for All here, and today I have a special unboxing of the new Apple iPhone 6. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box and let's just jump right into it because I'm excited and I'm pretty sure you guys are excited as well since today was actually the launch day of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So here's the box. I got this from T-Mobile. This is just a plain white box that just says iPhone and nothing like on top or on the sides or nothing colorful really. This is the space gray version by the way. So I guess what Apple decided was to release the launch iPhones with just a plain white box that says iPhone right here and that's pretty much about it. And just some information on the top like usual saying the things it comes with and all that. And what I was covering what I was covering down there was uh, you know, information that uh shouldn't really be shared, like, you know, SIM card number and uh serial number and things like that. So let's go ahead and open the box and take a look at what's inside. Slowly doing it. This is my first time unboxing it as well. And bam. That is the new iPhone 6. I got the 64 gigabyte model as you saw from when I showed the back of the box. So this is the new beautiful iPhone 6. I didn't get the 6 Plus because of a, a couple of reasons. One, it was too big for me, like too big for my hands. And two, it was severely over high demand. Like it sold out within four hours of pre-orders. So there was like absolutely no way anybody can get a 6 plus unless you were to wait like a few weeks until you know Apple releases more and you know stores get in stock and whatnot so yeah I'm fairly happy with getting the iPhone 6 itself 64 gigabytes mind you and so this is the iPhone 6 itself newly redesigned bigger screen I don't remember exactly the resolution for this but I'll probably put like a little text right here that shows the resolution of this phone I got the space gray version as you can see I was gonna get the silver one but apparently T-Mobile only had the uh, space gray versions available so that kinda sucked but you know I just really wanted the iPhone 6 and so I'll take the space gray have no problem with that and then inside we have the usual stuff the Apple earbuds I think that's what it's called or ear pods ear pods I believe it's ear pods Apple ear pods the charger and the lightning cable and that's pretty much it that's not there's nothing new pretty much under the box or under the phone and in the little packet right here it's the same old stuff Apple stickers uh, iPhone information which I believe is also also one of the information yes it is and an instruction manual I guess on how to use the new iPhone 6. Is this open or is it just, just a... I don't know. Yeah. It's like a little... It's like a little card, I guess. You see? Can't open it. It's like a little card. Just shows you how the iPhone 6 looks like and like the buttons and all that and what they do. And welcome to iPhone. Learning more. Get support. All that good stuff. Alright. So let me go ahead and put this back in, in the shelving here. You know, I never really use the Apple stickers. I should really use them sometime. I don't know. I just never have a use for them, I guess. Alright. Let's go ahead and put the box back in. And keep that new, fresh smell in there. It actually smells like Sharpies, which is really weird. But, anyway. So here's the iPhone 6 like I already showed you guys. Let's take a better look at it, actually. So here we have the home button and the... I forgot what this is called. The technology touch touch something I don't exactly remember I'll put another text uh, saying what it actually is so basically you can put your uh, fingers here and actually scan your finger and unlock the phone for you or do payments or <clears throat> a bunch of other stuff here we have the camera front facing camera pretty sure you can see that the earpiece and the new longer and I believe wider display which again I don't know the res resolution exactly on the top of my head so again I'll put like a text box or something to show the resolution on the back we have the newer camera which actually pops out which you can see right there actually pops out a little bit got flash I believe that's a microphone the Apple logo in a chrome finish like usual 
iPhone, a bit of descriptions and licensing and whatnot. And oh, <laughs> for a second I thought these, these two were bolters, but no, these are just, uh, I guess, the antennas. So on the left side, we have the volume rockers, which actually feel more stiff, so that's pretty good I and mean, pretty nice. And we have the vibrate and ringer switch, or at least that's why I call it, but I don't know the official name for it. And on the right side, we not only have the SIM card uh, slot, but we also have the power button. The power button actually rests on here instead of the top. Now, the reason for that is because on top, there's a new piece of hardware. I forgot what that's called, too. I am not doing well, am I? <laughs> but uh, basically, you can uh, use your credit card information. Like, let's say you put your credit card information on the iPhone itself. And you go to, let's say, McDonald's, as an example. And they have those uh, little things for the credit card. There's like a little logo that looks like a... Not a Wi-Fi logo, but it's like you could do something wirelessly with it. Basically, if you add your credit card on your iPhone, you got to just push a button. So you order a Big Mac, you open up the app uh, that you use to uh, send the information, your credit card information, push the button, you hear a little cling, you know, like a little sound, it'll process it, and then bam. So basically, this is Apple's uh, safer way of using credit cards. Basically, you don't show the cashier your information. You don't show Apple your, their information, your information. Nobody sees your information of the credit card except you not even if, even if you add the credit card onto the iphone itself the iphone doesn't display the card number or anything so let's say your uh, iphone was stolen or uh, lost or something nobody can go into your information and check your credit card info because it won't be there and if you were to actually lose or have your phone stolen you can actually use find my iphone to delete all those credit cards in like one click so that's actually really useful as well so anyway this was the unboxing of the iPhone 6. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I really apologize for that, but uh, refer to my update video if you're wondering why. Uh, long story short, it's just I've been really busy with like college and all that kind of stuff because I started about a month ago. So I'm like really focused on college and uh, getting my stuff done and trying to get my, my major of computer engineering and all that good stuff. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. All right, later.